Yo, what's up everyone, Will here from Tech Tech Reviews, here about to demonstrate a quick app for you guys. I uh, haven't done one in a while now, so I thought I'd just start one off. Uh, with this quite unusual app, it's called Pad Racer. You guys might have seen it in a couple of other reviews, I know Mike reviewed it on Insanely Great Mac. And it's actually quite an unusual and, you know, really cool app actually. Um, so this is going to be available for the iPad, iPod Touch and iPhone. So the way this app works, you basically download the full version onto your iPad. Uh, now this app is £2.99, which is about 5 or $6. dollars and you pay that once for the whole entire app. Um, you simply download the main app onto your iPad and then you download the controller app onto your iPod Touch. Uh, you guys may be thinking what the hell am I do you know, saying here. Uh, you, 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 you guys will see as I get further onto this review. So uh, the actual app is called Pad Racer. Uh, you guys see it there. Just go tap that to open the app and let's just make sure my sound is down because it does get quite annoying and you open it on your iPad and again you must have an iPad for this app to work you can't just use it on the iPod touch you must have an iPad as well and then you're going to open the app on the iPod touch you guys see it there pad racer open it on the iPod touch and basically this is just a controller you cannot use the game just on the iPod touch you have to link your iPod touch or iPhone up with an iPad um, and basically the whole idea of this game is basically a cross-platform game which links your iPod touch to your iPad via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth and allows you to control uh, this car, one of your cars here, and basically race around the track steering your iPod Touch. You guys will see as I get further on to the game. So um, basically the way you do it, you just link your iPod Touch to your iPad via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, I've already explained that, and then you ch uh, basically choose your map. There's a couple of maps here. Uh, this one basically, this is pretty cool. If you have two iPads with you right now, uh, I only have one, but if you have two iPads with you, you can actually link the iPads uh, together and basically, uh, you know, uh, stretch the track across the two iPads, which is really cool. As I said, I only have one iPad right now. So you have a couple of different maps. Let's just go with this one here. And you click start. And basically, uh, this uh, a, a go button appears on my iPod Touch, and as you can see, I'm controlling this little car here, and I'm steering it and controlling it with my iPod Touch that is connected to my iPad via Bluetooth. Um, this is a really neat game. Let's just turn the sound a tiny bit. Um, this is a really neat game. I haven't seen anything else like this in the App Store. As you can see, it's very, very easy to control. Um, so this little car, I don't know if you guys see that there, it's this little car down the corner here, and you're basically just going to steer your iPod Touch, press the go button, steer your iPod Touch, and that's basically going to control where the car goes. Now again, for this app to work, you must have an iPod Touch or an external device. For this to work, you can't just use the iPad and you can't just use the iPod Touch for this. They must both be linked up. This is a really cool application, you get five laps, and you, the, the really cool thing is you can link two iPads together to stretch the track, and also you can link up to four iPod Touches together, and then basically race them together to have a proper race. This is really cool. Uh, again, I haven't seen anything like this in the App Store. Uh, pad race it's a really cool app in the App Store. Uh, let's just demonstrate another map real quick. Um, although I actually think you have to... Uh, let's just turn this map. You have to exit the app to change the map. Um, but th th there's not many menus or anything like that. It's a very, very simple app. And really, you're just going to want it to show off to your friends. It is fairly addictive, but really not much of a game as such. It's just a kind of show-off app that demonstrates what the iPod Touch and iPad can do together. Again, available for the iPhone as well. Um, but anyway, that's Pad Race. Again, it does have, have a Bluetooth mode, uh, so you can play this while you're out when you don't have access to Wi-Fi. Um, but overall, there's no lag at all, as you can see. Uh, let's see if I can find my car right now. Where's my car? It's there. Um, as you can see, the graphics are okay, there's nothing special, but equally, you know, there's no frame rate issues or anything like that. And I really like it, you know, the sounds are pretty good as well, actually. Um, I know, I didn't mention this, on the iPod Touch screen, you just have this picture of the car, and basically nothing else, it's this go button. So, anyway, that's Pad Racer for the iPad, and then you just use your iPod Touch or iPhone to connect it. Again, you only have to buy the app once, so that's £3, that's about 5 or $6. dollars um, there will be a download link in the description below if you want to go ahead and download this game. Anyway, this has been Will here from Tech Tech Reviews. Very, very neat application. Uh, there isn't anything else like the, you know, like this in the App Store that I know of. Really cool application, Pad Racer. Go ahead and check it out. So this has been Will here from Tech Tech Reviews. Uh, also go and check out my 500 subscriber giveaway. There'll be a link to that in the description just below. So this is Will here from Tech Tech Reviews, and I'll see you guys in the next video.